We'll be moving up to the Triple A's for four weeks. Here's Travis Holm of Osage, the green again, against Ryan Jensen of Winterset, and Ryan Jensen got at him right on the whistle. He didn't waste time. No, no moss growing on him. He hit Holm immediately in this battle of two seniors. Jensen was a champion last year at 140 pounds. Like I said, for Osage, they have to have this win here to keep them in the hunt for the state championship, but not if Jensen has anything to do with it. The winner set. Good heavens, he lost three matches. Who did he lose to? One A you match is between right Chad Dutler of Holstein and Aaron Slaymaker of Belle Plaine. Belle Plaine has been doing well also. And at 3A, it's Brent Start LaGrange of Cedar Rapids Prairie, another Prairie wrestler. They have two in a row here. You're now against here. Andy Kruger of Sioux City Helix. Center here, come on in. And that's at 3A. Well, one of his losses, uh, Ryan Jensen's losses, was to Graves from Osceola, and he turned around and beat him twice since then. He uh, also went up a weight and lost a match against Wes Marshall. Great match, great and uh, so he's come back, got avenged, and he, revenge, and now he's at the weight he loves, and he looks like uh, he's unbeatable. His only sport Even is wrestling. Ryan Jensen's only sport is wrestling. Works real hard. Here comes home. Reversal. Reversal. Even though might have heard me say something about him being unbeatable. He said, we'll see about that. Set here, 38 left. Man, come on in. Okay, 2-2. Two, two, well, let's see. The clock says 36. 35 seconds left in the first period. Holm lost control of himself there. He got bad position and Jensen reversed him. So we've traded reversals. Morning, guys. It's Jensen trying to now. work that near wrist and get in, into an arm bar situation and work some even 90. Look at those arm bars. Likes to pin. He has 21 pins going into tonight's finals. This is the two-way class, and between periods, we're going to show you what the team standings look like right now. Both these okay, schools are in the top choice. five. Down, neutral to there they are. Fur. Osage is Red, second. Winter set in fifth. Winter set has a couple of wrestlers coming up, and if they win a Go couple ahead. of matches, they're right up there for third place. Clarinda still on top in double A. And this is all important. Holm has to win for Osage, or I think that just about does it. Well, both of these wrestlers have a lot on the line for their teams. Jensen has to win for Winterset to have any uh, possibility of getting a trophy. Three, right here. You're just riding. Let's go. you got to use her to get out. And as far as Osage is concerned, as far as their state championships hope, you're right. Holm has to win. Set. Richard Gray, Third. the official referee from St. Charles, just uh, put his fist up against uh, Ryan right here, Jensen. The winner said he said he was stalling. That was a warning. Jensen in the black leads four to two, four to three now after the escape by Travis Holm of Old Sage. Four to three. A minute and a half to go in the second period. At 145 pounds, the Veterans Auditorium live coverage from Iowa Public Television, our annual coverage in the 23rd year of the wrestling championships of the state of Iowa. Tell me, guys, Logan. Last, last year, Travis Holm was fourth place at 145, and he's been working hard ever since to try to get to where he's at right now. He has a never-quit attitude himself. Right here, Red. Let's go. Now, that's a warning on, against guys. Holm, so now get they're even up. Richard Gray thought Holm was backing out. Didn't back out fast enough that time. Ryan three, Jensen three, got the three. single and the takedown. Good single leg right there. He likes to be on his feet. You can tell that. Six to Six three. To here. Back to the center with 47 seconds to go. In on that single leg, head on the inside, and he just drives through, using his head as leverage right there I against the hip. You. Drives right through, Set here. puts Holmes on his hip. On top. In 3A, with a minute left in the second period, Andy Kruger from Sioux City Healing is leading 2-1 to one over Brent LaGrange, Cedar Rapids Prairie. And in 1A, with 40 seconds left in the second period, the score is 3-1 to one in favor of Chad Dutler up, from Holstein over Aaron Slaymaker from Belle Plaine. 
And here we are again at the our main match at 145 at the double-A level. Travis Holm and Ryan Jensen, middle-sized schools. Well, for and, and for liking uh, to be on his feet, he's uh, Ryan Jensen, I think, likes even more to be on top there. He's a legger, and he just rides the tar out of you. We'd like to have your comments, you know, as we go along in our sports programming this winter on our college wrestling needs or tonight's high school championships. We're going to give you an address between periods that you can write. We'd love to get your comments, whether they're negative, positive, whatever. They try to help us do the job better for you. So get a pencil if you'd like to make some comments. There we are. There we go. Three gas periods. Coach Bruce Gass from Osage still cheering on Slim Hopes for state championship. And they all depend on Holmes right here to be able to keep that winning streak, get that third wrestler out there to try to win three state championships and get themselves a team championship. We'll still get you that address, by the way, a little bit later on, so be thinking about it. Here at 6-3 to three, the score, in favor of Jensen. Now, Holm is going to have to go somewhere with that up there because he needs points. Man, man, right here, green, green. And Jensen is not working hard enough. One on the point, now it's 6 right. 4. He pulls uh, Holmes down on his hips. Dangerous position right there. Holmes is not in good control because, uh, actually, because uh, Jensen. Has a hold of see has a hold of his thigh right there. Go again, guys. Tell me, same way. Holm was able to keep the position though, and so it's uh, six to four in favor of Jensen. Holm still leading with 55 seconds to go. Looks Holmes like is not leading. Holmes is. Or rather, right. Jensen leading, with Holm in the top position. Holmes is going to have to make a decision here whether he's going to yeah. stay here and try to turn him, him in, or let him go and create him some him kind of opportunity for more points from the feet. And he's in danger of getting up high again. 30 seconds to go. Go again, guys. Stalemate. Well, actually, uh, if it's going to go like this, Holmes is doing Jensen a favor. There's Coach Gary Christensen. Coach of the winter set wrestler right here. Winter set wrestler Jensen trying to reach back and pull Holmes over, but but actually Holmes was just able to keep the top position and he has 15 seconds here. He's gonna have to get something. Here he comes. He's gonna try to crank that arm around, but I don't think he's, he's gonna, gonna close all. Let's go again. Nope. It's stalemate. Not much. All you gotta do is cradle right here. The only Man. Well, six seconds. That's enough time for him. He lets him go. Near four. He's got him throwing for four. And it's over. Right out. One point, by the way, I believe, My was guys. given there. Seven to four in favor hands, drink, of man. Jensen. Right around here. The state yeah. champion from Winterset. Winterset's al uh, still alive for a third place trophy. Osage just saw their chances for a state championship. Go out the window. And I think Clorinda's dancing in the streets right now. Let's go to 1A where we, we have a four to four situation. Yeah. Oh. We have a pin situation between Dutler and Slaymaker. And Dutler uh, has uh, turned a 4-4 meet into a big victory for him. And the Holstein coach, Mike Richard, is excited. Yes, Dutler had Slaymaker on his back at the end of the period for a three-point near fall. He was already 6-4 to four up, mm. and it's 9-4. to four. Made a five-point move. Right at the end. That's a. That's another big. It's never too late move. Chad Dutler, coached by Mike Richard. So we're through at 145. Well, Doug, on the 1A mat at 145 pounds. This is the takedown as time was running out and the score was tied that made Chad Dutler of Galva Holstein the champion at 145 pounds in single A. He defeated Aaron Slaymaker who had come back late in the period to tie it 4-4, but the final decision was 9-4, Chad Dutler, Galva Holstein. Dick Trotter? 
Well, Doug, in 3A competition, Andy Kruger of Sioux City Helan pulled kind of an upset tonight as he knocked off Brett LaGrange of Cedar Rapids Prairie by the margin of 7-3. to three. That was three takedowns, all he needed. You see, LaGrange was third a year ago and had visions of title time this year. Back to you, Doug. We're just about to go up into a new set of rotations here. Uh, end of the match for him. He put him on his back late in the match to break a 0-0 tie. Okay. Sixth place, Casey Christensen, Riceville. Fifth place, Ted Smith, West Hancock. Fourth place, Will Steinkamp, Winthrop East Buchanan. Third place, Justin Staver, Afton East Union. Runner-up, Aaron Slaymaker, Belle Plain. And the 100... 45-pound 1A champion from Galva Holstein, Chad Dutler. Got scratched up a little bit through the tournament, but he'll survive. He's very happy about that. 145-pound champion of the state of Iowa 1A level. Now we'll go to double A. Presenting the, the Class 2A 145-pound awards, Coach Gary Christensen of Winterset. Sixth place, Landon Freeberg, Algona. Fifth place, Brian Fosterman, Benton, Washington. Fourth place, Corey Myers, Sedell, Des Moines. Third place, Doran Massner, Minneapolis. Runner-up, Travis Holm, Osage. And the 2A 145-pound champion from Winterset, Ryan Jensen. A big win for Jensen. Wrestling champion wearing a basketball sweatshirt. I noticed there, too. He can afford to be magnanimous because he just won a state title of 145 pounds. There are some of the uh, fans here. Dan Gable on the left in that middle row signing autograph. You see his wife, Kathy, over here on the right. Coach Rich Cooney of Sioux City, Helan. Sixth place, Bob Couples, Newton. Fifth place, Justin Crawford, Oskaloosa. Fourth place, Ryan Carnahan, Southeast Polk Reynolds. Third place, George Howard, Waterloo West. Runner-up, Brant LaGrange, Cedar Rapids Prairie. And the 3A 145-pound champion from Sioux City, Helan, Andy Kruger. Congratulations, Andy Kruger, champion. Now we're going to get floor reports at 152 pounds. Let's 